Hello interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, I've got a MacBook Pro here. This is a big 17 inch MacBook Pro. Wow. Uh, it's got a jammed DVD drive. So we're gonna take the, the DVD drive out of this and uh, get the disc out of it. And hopefully we can find out uh, why the drive is jamming and see if we can fix that. So we're gonna start out by taking all these screws off the bottom. Right, there's our DVD drive. So on the visual inspection, oh, there we go. Uh, I just pushed that down and the disc just went out the side, so. Okay, right, there's nothing wrong with the disc, although it's been scratched to hell. Um, so that's probably knackered. A little bit warped as well. Um, However, the question is, why was that not sitting right? The drive itself feels a bit bent. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to remove the disk drive and just see if that's physically bent. We might be able to fix that just by literally just bending it straight again. This may have been caused by someone leaning too hard on the keyboard or something like that and just physically bending the drive. So uh, let's keep taking things apart until we can remove that drive. So we start out, to remove this cable, there's a little plastic tab here that we've just got to remove. This is just glued on, so I'm just using a pair of tweezers just to pull that off. And now we can pull this cable out. And we need to remove, let me see. I haven't seen this particular version before. One of the problems with the MacBook Pro is there's a dozen different revisions of this part of it. Okay, that's screwed to the side of the DVD drive, so we should be able to remove that without having to take the hinge apart. Let's just get some extra light on this. So now that's folding back out the way. We've now got three screws holding this in and it's data cable. So there's the data cable. Then we've got a screw here, a screw down here, which I can just get to. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna get better access to that just for good practice. We just gotta remove this fella here. There we go, that's better. And then the third screw is over here. And now we should just be able to lift that out. Right. So, looking at the top, there's no visual damage. What may have happened is if the disc wasn't in the drive properly and it skipped out of the mechanism, the ejection mechanism may have tried to cross um, with the jam with, and jam the disc in there, which would have forced the whole thing to bulge like that. So I think I'm just going to very gently press the top in and just generally just bend that back into a flat shape. I'm just giving it a little bit of rough handling here. There we go, let's try that. We'll just drop that back in. And we'll screw this all back into place and then we'll just try loading and unloading a disc again and see how that behaves. Tell you what else doesn't look right, actually. I'm just gonna take that back out again. I have suspicion the problem might be this bit of plastic here. Because that's bent pretty far down. What's it gonna take to remove that, I wonder?
And a fair bit. I've got to remove the speaker and these two screws for what is probably the Bluetooth antenna. Um, I'm going to leave that alone. However, I need to make sure when I put the case, when I put the back cover back on, I need to make sure that this clicks into place properly. Um, and that will just make sure that it just lifts this part up because that's bending downwards and I think that's the main problem. I wonder if I can just give that a little bit of encouragement. I don't think that made any difference whatsoever. Let's reassemble this and see how it behaves. It might have just been a one-off. Sometimes if a disc goes into the drive at a funny angle, it just jams. It's one of the unfortunate drawbacks of um, slot loading DVD drives is that occasionally you catch them at the wrong angle and they jam. Doesn't happen very often, but you know, once in a blue moon. So on the back cover, oh, that's flaring on my light slightly. You see that notch there? That's got to click into there. If it doesn't click into place, it will just be pushing this down rather than supporting it. So I'm going to very deliberately press in on there. And I'm just going to use a bit of leverage. I'm not feeling anything click into place. I'm not feeling very inspired by this. There we go, that's more like it. Okay, I kind of had to do that off camera, but what I did was I just put my prying tool in there and I just lifted up the panel so I could see where it was and I held the prying tool against the back of that clip so I could just push right down on that. So now I know that that clip is properly in position. Right, let's just put a couple of screws back in just to hold everything in place and see where that's got us to. The other side is resistant to go in as well, actually. These side clips are unique to the 17-inch MacBook Pro. You don't see these clips on the 15 and 13-inch ones. That's super awkward. There we go. Okay, that's sorted that one out. And there'll be one in the middle somewhere. Okay, let's put in a couple of screws. I'm going to aim to put in the screws around the DVD drive just to make sure that that is um, held down as firmly as it would in real life. I can't put that one back in yet because I haven't put in the little thing that goes on the side. Right, let's see how that works. So I'm going to turn it on, I'm holding down the option key just to go straight to the boot menu. Okay, so once again, we're going to try my Windows 10 disk because it's nice and shiny and new. Again, we've got very smooth action going in and out of the drive. And that's made all the correct noises. These slot load drives in MacBooks are terrible. I do not understand why um, Apple don't use Pioneer drives or something like that, because Pioneer slot load drives are silent. And I've seen slot load drives in Windows laptops that are silent and don't make those noises, but whatever. What matters is that it works again. All right, there we go. So that has detected the disk. Let's try ejecting. Spin down. Oh, that was a struggle, but it did manage it. All right, let's try it with the same disc that was used last time. Okay, disc is loaded, eject. Yeah, just about. Okay, that seems to be loading and unloading properly. It's struggling a bit, but that's kind of normal with aging MacBooks. And this one is aging a bit. It's a 2009, 2008 or a 2009 model to my estimate. 
So it's starting to get on in, in age, this thing. It doesn't look it, but as I say, it's getting quite old. So its drive is probably going to be wearing out. However, we seem to have solved the problem of the jamming. So uh, what we'll do, we'll give this a service. We'll send it back out again. And as per usual, the work is guaranteed. So if it starts going wrong again, we'll be seeing this laptop again and we'll have a closer look at that. Maybe we will replace the drive. Most likely I will go to work on that plastic, um, that plastic surround, because I think that's what's causing the jab. Past that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.